you don't see this, but my dog is trying to be a diva right now. So that's that little tapping sound. Here. All right. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Fernando. This is Serena. Uh, we're talking about investment properties. Uh, I was just going over some numbers with her and she said, you know what? You should record this. And I said, fine. All right. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to record here. We're going to run some numbers. I want to explain a little bit about the investment properties. Grab your calculator because I might need you to check my math real quick uh, and so forth. All right. So uh, all right, go ahead, grab you, and I'm going to go through this real quick. Oh, did you say hi? Yes, I did say hi. Oh, okay. Hi, everyone. All right. Uh, so we're talking about investment properties. We're going to talk about the way the investors actually buy properties. We're also going to be talking about uh, how first-time homeowner buyers, right, are want to buy uh, their home as an investment and then rent it out. So they're trying to hack FHA. Uh, it's not recommended, but there's people that do it all the time. So uh, unfortunately, you should be aware that it is kind of you know eh, not frowned upon uh but they, i believe somebody's going to double check ask the the loan reps how long do you have to live in a property before you can decide not to live there and rent it out i think the popular answer is at least a day i don't know you guys decide all right so let's uh let's, we chose an area here uh galloway Four bedroom, three and a half, uh, two and a half bath is about uh, two hundred two twenty. Yeah. Okay. So an average two hundred twenty five thousand, right? And let's assume I'm the investor, and I just want to make a certain percentage on my money. Okay. So we're gonna do a side by side comparison this way. Uh, I'm already told. So we buy this home, two hundred twenty five thousand. Let's assume it's about twenty two hundred square feet. Okay. Uh, we're gonna look this is for the investors okay i'm gonna just go down the line i'm probably not gonna have enough room uh and we're gonna be looking at a couple of different things right uh for the investor you're gonna need about 20 percent down and let's assume you're gonna need closing costs and that's an average of closing costs and i know some people are gonna say it's high some people are gonna say blah 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 we're trying to make numbers easy Let's say it's ten thousand uh, dollars. Closing costs at twenty percent at two twenty five is forty five thousand dollars. Okay, so for an investor, I have to come up with twenty percent down. Now we do have some lenders that will do for maybe up to fifteen, but it depends on the experience you have. Also depends on your credit. Uh, so if you need somebody, give us a call. We'll put the number right about here. Okay, uh, give me a call. Uh, will get you a lender to help you out there okay now uh, so this basically for me to buy a house at that price I need fifty five thousand dollars okay let's assume the interest is uh, five and a half percent again this is depend on your uh, your credit score and so forth right uh, at fifty five uh, five and a half percent uh, let's assume that the taxes are about six thousand dollars. Let's say the insurance is about twelve hundred dollars. Okay, so your petty, your principal interest taxes and insurance, that will come out to on a monthly base to twenty five at that. That'll be about seventeen hundred dollars. Okay, now these are estimates. These are not raw. This is not the number that Fernando said. This is the number. I'm just saying this is an estimate. Okay, at uh, 2,200 square feet, you figure that you're gonna, your, your rental income will be about $2,200, okay? Uh, you, you probably could get more or less depending on the area, location, blah, blah, blah. So, but these numbers here, we're just gonna hear, so you're gonna have a profit of about $500, okay? That means $6,000 a year, okay? And that means that if I'm looking at this here, uh, of how much, uh, I'm sorry, you know, if I'm looking at how much I need to bring to the table versus how much I'm gonna be making a year, you're about 10.09, uh, let's say 10.1%, and that'll be your return on your investment, okay? If it rents out for the whole year, uh, how much am I gonna uh, uh, pre-net, okay? It's gonna be about, uh, $6,000 a year for your $55,000 investment, you make about 10% return on your investment. That's how it's pretty much 
and, and, and grow in, in generics. That's how that works. Okay, but there's people that are here trying to hack the system using loans like FHA, uh, so forth. Uh, so if you're thinking about doing that, talk to the lender, know what the guidelines are. Uh, it's really for homeowners, it's not for investors, but people try to hack the system just because you put less in. I'm gonna run those same numbers. Those numbers are gonna come up with a higher return on your investment, So, but that's because you're putting less down, okay? So I just want you to understand the math here. But it, some people want to use it to hack the system and to be able to profit from that and, and so forth, but that's really your thing. Okay, so if I'm an investor, I guess this one's worth, FHA, instead of 20% down, I now need 3.5%, okay? That will make this here, uh, it's like 7,800 something, but let's say $8,000, okay? Now let's also say the closing cost, let's say it's the same, okay? So that means that here, I'm just gonna need about $18,000, okay? Let's assume that because it is an FHA, so it's gonna usually be about point less or so. So let's say it's four and a half percent for the interest. Let's assume that this is the same because your mortgage amount is bigger, okay? Less interest rate, it kind of does this, okay? But not, not that much because it's only a point. So instead of 1700, you're gonna be doing 1800, okay? But that's because you're putting so much more less down, okay? Now, that means that if I'm at $1,800, the rent's still the same, $2,200 that's coming in, then I'm gonna be profiting about $400 a month. $4,800 a year, okay? Uh, this is for the year, this is for the month, okay? That means that I should be about 21%. You divide out 4,800 by, uh, by 18,000. Should be about 21, 22%. 22. You sure? 48 divided by 18? 18. 1,800? Yes. 26. 26%? Sounds high. I'm not sure, but I'll, I'll double check it. So let's say it's 26%. I thought it was about 22%, 21%, but all right. So let's say it's 26%. That's because you have so much more less down that you're putting in there. Okay? If that makes sense, uh, and you're trying to hack a system or you're trying to buy... <laughs> I hate to use that word hack, but I mean, if you're trying to go the FHA route, uh, understand the guidelines and the rules for that. So make sure you do talk to your lender uh, and get those specific needs there. But if you're looking at it to go this way, understand how this works. And then if you're going this way as an investor and you're looking at, hey, I'm trying to make 15% on my return. I'm trying to make 10%, 5%. It's also by location. It's also by the market you're in. It's also the type of um, if you're going after white collar people, blue collar people, or, or, or certain subsidized uh, programs out there, the more risk you have, the higher the return usually is. Okay, and if it's less uh, less risk, the lower the uh, return usually is. Okay, um, we're gonna do a video. Uh, that our next video is gonna be uh, pricing your home or and. Uh, actually, it was most my investors will call me. I don't know if I'm paying too much for it. So we're gonna go over the one percent rule. We're also gonna go over the fifty percent rule. It kind of helps uh, investors uh, to decide when they're buying a house, if it's at the right price, and if it's uh, the right one for them. Okay. Now these are simple mathematic uh, information that I'm gonna give you. Um, a lot of people use them and you will tailor them to yourself. Okay. All right. God bless. Have a great day. Uh, you learn a lot. Always do. Always do.